The second Law World Tour was a worldwide concert tour by English alternative rock band Muse. It was the band's eighth concert tour, which supported the sixth studio album The Second Law. The stadium tour was called the Unsustainable Tour and saw the band's biggest stadium tour to date. Muse announced the tour via their official website and Twitter account on the 7th of June 2012. Furthermore, the tour has an official live release on CD, DVD, Blu-ray, live at Rome Olympic Stadium, with the Italian date which was held on the 6th of July 2013 at the Stadio Olimpico in Rome, in front of a crowd of 60,963 people. A show in Tokyo described by drummer Dom as the funniest ever was also filmed. However, a release date for this recording has yet to be confirmed, with only one song from the concert being released as a Muse website member's Christmas present. At the conclusion of 2013, the tour was placed on Polestar's annual Year End Top 20 Worldwide Tours and appeared 13th worldwide, earning over $103 million with 79 shows in 2013. Topic. Stage show The Second Law World Tour has quickly become known for its extravagant and unique stage show. For the arena tour, some of the effects used include an enormous pyramid of LED screens that gradually descends and consumes the band during the show. Large use of strobe lighting as well as corrupted system text on a floor panoramic screen during The Second Law, Unsustainable. Drummer Dominic Howard being revealed by the pyramid as it ascends during Uprising. A piano rising from the ground during Monty Jam. A life size grid forming on the pyramid during the Second Law, Isolated System. Laser lights of many different colors shooting in different directions during Madness, Follow Me, and Survival. Synchronized lyrics appearing on as many as 10 to 17 different screens during Knights of Sidonia. Robotic likenesses of the letter M, featured in the lyric video for Madness, appearing as it is performed. A large roulette appearing on the screens and in the pyramid choosing between Newborn or Stockholm Syndrome. If the green slot is chosen, the band will play a different song. Carbon dioxide cannons blasting off on the final beats of Survival. For the summer stadium shows, under the moniker The Unsustainable Tour, the band performed in a redesigned stage show. This show included a huge curved video screen with windows, dubbed the Power Station by Matthew Bellamy. A huge bomb exploding on the B stage during the intro to Supremacy. A number of brand new visuals, including a Power Station central reactor during Supremacy. Bliss. Map of the Problematic, Starlight, and some parts of The Second Law, Unsustainable, and Dancing Politicians During Panic Station. Six white chimneys used for pyrotechnics during Supremacy, Knights of Sidonia, The Second Law, Unsustainable, and Survival. A floating balloon shaped like a light bulb carrying an acrobat during Blackout, and Guiding Light. A long B stage which the band performed four tracks on during the first encore, and which band members run up and down during the gig. A robot named Charles by Matthew Bellamy for The Second Law, Unsustainable. Confetti cannons firing Muse themed banknotes during the ending to Animals. Two different actors appearing during Animals and Feeling Good. Respectively, a male actor plays a banker throwing notes at the crowd before dying during Animals, and the actress appears drinking from a petrol pump and collapsing during Feeling Good. Chris playing Man with a Harmonica near the dead body of the banker after Animals. Both the actors appears inside separate coffins during Undisclosed Desires. CO2 cannons blasting off during the ending of Follow Me. Topic. Set list The European Arena Tour set list was based around the same general idea, if Hysteria was played third, Stockholm Syndrome would close the main set and Knights of Sidonia 
would close the first encore, with survival closing the second encore. However, if Map of the Problematic was played third, then Newborn closed the main set and Knights of Sidonia and Survival were switched around. This also determined when the carbon dioxide cannons were set off, as depending on the show closer, it switched between Survival and Knights of Sidonia. There was usually one song from the debut album Showbiz played somewhere in the middle of the setlist, usually Sunburn, and to a lesser extent, Falling Down. In the latter half of the tour, for venues which had multiple shows, the setlist on the second night would often have more rarities, with tracks like Agitated, Yes Please, Hyper Music, and Butterflies and Hurricanes making appearances.